What's up guys, Soapbox. Back here on some maps with some uh, friends. I wanted to show you mainly uh, how crazy item rarity and quantity can be. My friend has ridiculous amounts. He's about 360, I think, rarity and quantity. Or 360 rarity and like 80 or 90 quantity or whatever. Or maybe 360 quantity, I don't know. This is just crazy. What happens is when we kill stuff, just big piles of rares and whatnot. We almost get a unique every map. I'm about to level two, so I just figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what's going on here. And what he does is he has uh, culling strikes on both his uh, zombies and his skeletons. So if they get below 10%, the, the zombies or skeletons kill him. And he has item quantity and rarity on both of those, because I was just talking about it. It's pretty crazy, man. It's just, the drops are just ridiculous. I mean, if you guys get better drops, let me know. But, I mean, I don't know. The whole screen is just full, dude, from this guy. And it's because, like, we can all kill stuff so quick, and he just finishes it off and gets tons of drops. It's like what his character goes upon. But he does damage, too, for sure. I'm just saying, like, it's just nuts. It's really nuts. It's a little laggy because all the summons and whatnot, but it is just crazy. I don't know. They're not very organized because, <laughs> I don't know, half these people usually are who I play with, another half or the other guys like someone else I play with separately, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't really play with these people at all, so I don't know, we're kind of just wandering on this map. But as you can see, it's just ridiculous drops when I get to where I'm trying to go. Shoot. Let's see, we gotta stick with the summon room here, yeah, that's where we're gonna be. He's the one who's making all the drops happen, so. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that. I just messed up. I shouldn't have opened this for copy guys. We could have seen what happens when he's opening one. Like, literally, every time I run a map with him, and I'm about to be 80, I can't wait. But every time I run a map with this dude, like, I always, always, always have to empty out my inventory. I have too many rares. Like, every time. I mean, like, right now I don't have to, but I know by the end of this map, I'm going to need to. Like, I'm going to have to see, like, okay, wait a second. Do I want this rare? Do I want this rare? But now I'm going to start throwing on the ground because. It's basically like, <laughs> I don't know, like this word is not that great, so I'm going to probably toss it. Because it's just crazy, I run out of space every time. It's just out of control. And I figured it'd be cool for you guys uh, to be able to see me hit 80. I'm hoping I can do that right now. If not, it's going to be next map. I'll just, I'll just keep on going until I hit 80, I think. I did die once earlier today, and that really frustrated me because I, I would have already been 80 right now. I died on, I don't know, I just was taking crazy damage from something. Uh, it was crazy. Like I was on a... Someone's trying to jack my jewelry door. I think you guys are my friends. <laughs> I don't know where the guy is. Wait, where's, where's the guy with the picking summon? Because that's where you want to be. He's the one getting drops. He gets crazy drops. See, look at that. Just stay by this guy, your drops would be insane. Because he's, his skeletons and whatnot always get the last hit because they're everywhere. And he has so many of them. So with calling strikes, he's like pretty much guaranteed he's about to get the last hit. It's a little chaotic, I know it's a little hard to see what's going on, but this is what happens when you get a party and you run late like, game maps. It's a little craziness. It's always going to be crazy. <laughs> A uh, trick to making sure that you don't lag out when this happens, because you can definitely super lag out, is, um, oh my god, I need my sniper I can't pick it up. I don't want to die for it. Oh my gosh. You don't want to die for your sniper boat. I can't even see right now. I'm so confused. But anyhow, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh man. Oh, a trick. A trick to making sure you don't lag out. My bad. I was so confused right now. Uh, what you want to do is go into your config file. If you just search Path of Exile on Windows, like just type it in in your little down here. Just type in Path of Exile. Hold on, I can actually show you while doing this. I'm crazy. Let's see. Type in Path. I don't want to die. But, oh shit, I didn't even open another copy of it. That's terrible. That didn't work. Okay, Path of Exile, you go to this spot folder and you go to this production config, you open it with Notepad. Open with Notepad, and then you change this. I'm not gonna die, am I? I don't know. You change, where's that? Texture filtering, you change, or texture quality, you change that from 0 to 1 or 2. I use 2, but you can change it from 0. 
basically uh, it's at zero for the highest quality. The bigger the number goes, the less quality. I find two is like pretty decent low quality. I mean, like it's pretty decent quality without without like lagging you out. So. I mean, it depends on your video card and all this stuff, but if you're having a little bit of trouble when you're in a party with a bunch of people and just crazy lag, or even if you're just lagging a little bit, I would try it, because it definitely helps. And it makes it so you load zones faster for races and whatnot. That's how I originally, I think I found out from a crypt video maybe, but I'm not taking credit for it, I'm just letting you guys know, basically, how to do that. But you, and then you save the config and then you exit out. So, I mean, next time you load up the game, you can't do it like in game like I was just doing. Like, I don't think it would affect until next time you load up the game. But I just figured I'd show you guys. I don't know. I'm always trying to come up with little things here and there to show you guys. Hoping I'm not losing experience because I was out there making. <laughs> doing config files and whatnot. They use these maps to get uh, out of control with items. We're not done with this one. That's, there's like a lot more to do. So, <laughs> up here in this corner. Like I so said, they're not that organized. They kind of just uh, wait for me and then they call me around. Seems like as far as running the map, they're organized as far as what they're doing. I mean, they're just not a. Uh, they don't. They don't go in like an order like as much as I normally do. I go like left or right. You guys see me run maps. I don't like miss anything, and I don't usually have to backtrack. But you know, it's all good. It's still uh, more efficient to farm this way as far as for uh, levels. Not so much drops, I mean, well, I guess with this guy, I get crazy drops, but I don't know. I got two amulets earlier before he was in the party. See, I don't even know if I want to pick up that chromatic I just picked up, because it might be a good rare on the ground in a minute, but I can't pick it up. Because I'm out of the heck, man. Because I'm out of space, man, and that sucks. But this, uh, this 5,000 energy shield with this armor modified now, the way I have it, is helping so much. I really can't die unless I do something really stupid. And I'm not sure what happened. I was standing outside the door and I... I don't know, I was getting pegged by a bunch of archers and I kept on standing there thinking I was going to win. Just like a situation like this. I said it was just me and... They were pegging me and I was like, oh, I got this, I got this. I was heal off of them. But when you're using freezing calls through a doorway, it is not effective compared to like normal. Because... That doorway blocks 90% of it. It sucks, that's how it is. It just blocks so much of it. That's pretty crazy. But the other guy has a Freezing Falls character. I think there's three Freezing Falls. I think we're all Freezing Falls besides this dude. <laughs> I just noticed that. Because I never, I don't really know the other dude, but that's my homie Steve over here from France, dude. He's ridiculous with Magic Fun. Some of the best drops I've ever seen were in the game with him, dude. I've seen all sorts of unique drops. Usually one per map, like seriously, it just happens all the time. And he's also, uh, I think Hashin always plays with him too. Because we kind of met him around the same time. Where's he going? He's going out here. He's like, okay, let's do this. Where are you guys at? Just follow the summoner, that's what I do. I wasn't paying attention for a second, but yeah, usually I just follow this dude, man. His drops are just crazy. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is only four people. There's six people I can never see the screen. I always have the cast that press Z. Oh, if you press Z, it pulls the items off, okay? But if you press Z again, when there's an item, a screen full of items, it gives you a... Um, it gives you uh, the ability to resize it so you can see the screen. So... I don't really know what the heck is going on. Where's he going? I lost a couple of these guys. I'm not really sure where the guys are. I can't see with all the summons on the screen. Are they up here? I think we're going up here. I don't know what's going on. I guess we are. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know, but this is crazy. I, I can't even talk right now. It's just there's too many items on the ground, too many drops for me to really know what the heck's going on. I think he's in another room, though. I think we can go back and get him. He's about to get a, like a map or an exalted by himself. But there's three of us over here, so I don't know. I don't know what to do in this situation. Should I follow him or should I stay with the group? He's coming. All right. Oh, he was clearing out the room like we should have. I don't know what these guys are doing. I should have followed him. Cause that room down there is not going to be cleared right here. 
I see him. He's going somewhere. Where are you going, dude? He's like scared or something. What's going on, man? Oh, little chaos guys. Yeah, when you're not chaos, I mean, these chaos guys tend to hurt a bit, I guess. See, I told you I was full, and I didn't mean to get full. Crap. Oh, that's blue. I don't need that. Oh, wait, that's the thing that's... It's chromatic. It's like, should I think of the chromatic, or should I just forget about it? Where the heck is everybody at? Dude, I'm, like, so lost right now. This is why I don't like playing parties too much. I mean, I do, and I don't. Like, it's just too chaotic. Too chaotic. I mean, I need the levels and whatnot, but like, it's just crazy chaotic. Like, no one knows where we're going ever. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing else down here. Okay. All right, there's nothing else down here. Yeah. Let's see where these guys are. Okay, they're going the right way now. There's a guy right there, guys. Pass them on. My damage is crazy. When I'm at a party, like, I don't know. I can't really. Tell what I do. Let's see if, see if I can kill this guy real fast. Yeah, I still do damage pretty good. They do have more life, but I think that's the same number of quantity you get. So, like, right now, since there's four of us in this party, you should have 200% quantity automatically on top of whatever little bonus we got. Oh, there's the boss. Watch this. This is going to be crazy. He's going to definitely call and strike this boss. Just watch the screen for him. I'm going to, like, resize. Oh, that was terrible. Usually it's, like, crazy, crazy. That sucks. I gotta go back and grab some rares now. Well, I have been picking up blue rings because they don't take up much space. Might as well. I think we're done. Well, I almost hit 90. We're gonna keep on going, dude, until I hit, uh, I mean, 80. This map's over. We need another map, guys. It's done. I don't think anything else is in here. Do you guys hear anything, see anything? No. So I just filled my inventory with random blues at the end. So I might as well. Just maximize my inventory space. Get the most money I could out of the map. Let's see who's going on the next map. I can run the map. I don't care. Oh, jeez. I really thought I'd hit uh, 80 on that, but it's all right. I'm going to keep going until I hit 80 here. You see, this is how you want to level, though. I mean, honestly, you just level so much faster with the party when the maps. I mean, I'm only 5% off, and we only ran one or two maps so far where we were all in there. Before that, it was like half of those. Oh, anything good? so far. That's not terrible. It's not good though. It's got accuracy though. I don't know. I don't really need that accuracy. I'm like that. I guess I should sell it to somebody. But I don't think accuracy is that demanding. You don't really need accuracy from any builds. And even if you did, dexterity is far better than accuracy. Dexterity gives you two or three accuracy per level or per point in it. Quantity and life, that's pretty cool. But nah. Alright, what's going on here? Are we running on the map? I hope we're running on the map, otherwise I'll show you guys this because it's still crazy. These drops normally are nuts, I mean. But let's see, I don't know. Uh, one of these guys from France, other dudes from Turkey, man, I, I'm from America, as you guys know, but, I mean, it's hard to, like, uh, communicate sometimes. I mean, the guy from France knows English pretty well, I think, for sure. The dude from Turkey knows a little bit, so sometimes I'm just, like, standing there, like, um, what's going on? <laughs> I might have to cut the video here and then do another one when I, uh, level. I'm gonna stop it, just in case it doesn't, uh... Oh, I'm going to stop it just in case uh, they don't come back right away. And if they do, I'll start up again. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.